Gemini, to your love reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. This month in love. Best messages coming out. Okay, we have reconciliation coming out. Someone from your past is returning to, to you or you're having a reconciliation with the partner that you're with at this time. Um, we will see exactly what that is. Take it how it is, right? It's either someone from your past or someone you're with right now that you feel like, you know what, we just had a fight. They want to, you know, reconcili reconciliate with me. They want my forgiveness. They want, you know... They want to apologize to me, or maybe you want to apologize to them, however you want to see it, right? It does look like however it is. You do see that this person is your true love, or was your true love at one time. Like I said, it is general reading. Please take it the way, you know, you see it and how it fits into your life. Uh, but you do feel like in some ways something is going on. And there's not enough chemistry. So it's like, I do love you, but I'm not feeling the chemistry with you the way I used to. But they want to reconciliate with you. And you're like, mm, I don't know. This is kind of a tough one right here, my friends, because they're seeing you as their true love, but you're not feeling the chemistry that you once had. Okay. Clarify on the situation, please. Okay, Spirit is saying you do deserve love, um, but it doesn't feel, but you're not feeling very optimistic about this love. So it's like, I do deserve love, and you're saying it too. I deserve love. I don't need this, right? This back and forth, whatever it is. Um, but when it comes to this love relationship, it's saying you are not staying optimistic about this love. Okay, so there is something going on. And it's like, yes, we have been trying to heal Family issues, we're still in the maintaining of healing family issues. You want a reconciliation with me, but I'm not sure if this is what I really truly want. And that's really what's coming out of this. And it does look like you're just trying to move on, release the ex from your energy. Do what you want to do. And that's, yeah, that's really what it feels like, my friends. Okay, that's the mainstream right there. Yes, I love you. Yes, you're the mother or the father of our children or however it is. Right, but there is not enough love here. Or yes, you're my first love and I will always love you or however. Right, but there's no chemistry. There's a difference between I love you and I'm in love with you. And the in love seems to have died. Right. So the reconciliation that they're looking for, it looks like you're more like trying to back away from it because you're saying, I'm shooting my arrow somewhere else or I'm hoping that this arrow, somebody's shooting theirs at mine or something of the difference because it still hurts. It still hurts. The words that were said, the actions that were taken, the events that took place, it still hurts. So it does feel like you're still trying to heal from a lot of what was going on before. Trying to keep your mind on other priorities at this time and not really wanting to take their, their reconciliation. Asking yourself, is it worth it? Because there's a lot of pins and needles feeling like you are their pin cushion. I am not your pin cushion. My heart is not your pin cushion. So it does feel like, yeah, like, you know, I don't know how this is going to end, right? But they really do want a reconciliation with you. Let's just grab a couple of tarot cards over here. Resolve the issue. And let's see how they feel about you, my friends. Clarify, please, on the situation. Yeah, backsliding relationship. Yeah, feeling like it's over, feeling like you want your freedom, feeling like, you know what, I'm going to go find my, where I deserve love somewhere else. 
I have a lot of generosity. I have a, love, a lot of love to share, a place where I can find balance, peace. If I put out the love, the love returns. Okay. Let's see how your person feels about you. Well, we know one thing. They want a reconciliation. And you're scratching your head about it, right? Rolling over in bed saying, I don't know, let me think about it tomorrow. Or maybe the next day, or maybe the next day, or maybe never. This is the same as a relationship card, so you could say your marriage is over. They know that it's over. They feel the divorce coming. They feel the disconnection. If you're not married, it's just showing the disconnection. It's pretty much the same card. You can see it is the same card as the Hierophant upside down. If you're not married, just meaning backsliding relationship. Going against the grain, the relationship is... You know, sliding down the hill, coming apart at the seams, not on the same page. Clarify it on how they see them. The honeymoon is over. Yeah, that's really what it is. The honeymoon is over. Yeah, they're seeing a separation coming. Whoa. Uh, that's crazy. Why is it calling in a soulmate is upside down? on why the soulmate is upside down. They don't want anybody else but you. That's why they're not calling in the soulmate. What the? Maybe it's supposed to be right side up. I don't understand. That's why I'm like, that's there. Is that on? Is that? Emotionally withdrawn lack of faith. Uh, lack of faith that they're going to find another soulmate. Ooh, they're in a dark place. Having self-trust, disconnected from the world, discouragement and insecurities. Interesting. Putting themselves into a dark place. Lack of direction. They don't know what the hell they're doing. Lack of beliefs on their spiritual path. That too much conflict. It's almost like they're pretty much saying with that card there is once this relationship is over, I'm done. That's how they feel at this time anyways. They're done with love. Like you're walking away and this relationship is done and this marriage is done. I'm done. I'm not looking for nobody else. I'm done with love. I'm shutting down. I'm shutting my walls down. Yeah, I'm shutting my walls down. It's made them too hurt, too, rest, too restless, too burned out. Yeah. Hmm. That's very interesting. Yeah, they need to love themselves first. Wow, they're in a dark in a dark space within themselves. Yeah, not taking on any new love. I don't know what's going on with them, but this is really hard on them. <clears throat> yeah, they feel like no matter what, energetically, you've moved on from them. Lessons are being taught about the situation. Yeah, they need to trust in the universe, guys. Because you just outgrew each other, that's all. It's like the soul contract is, is broken itself, but not only has it broken itself, it's broken this person. I don't know exactly what's going on within this person's mind or what's going on within this relationship. How much hurt there is how much pain is really going on but definitely they've come to the conclusion that they will never they never want to love again that's literally what they're saying I will never love again <clears throat> I will never love again that's it 
I put all my heart, all my trust, all my everything into this relationship, and I will never, yeah, next few weeks. Yeah. They need some recovery and some healing. Wow. Yeah, they're hoping that you'll reconsider their offer within within the, you know, within the next two few weeks, within whatever, you know, they're waiting for you to make this reconsidered call. They're hoping that they can do something to fix the situation. That was, that was a rough one, guys. I don't get readings like this very often. The overall card to the situation is maturity. They may have a lot of emotional immaturity. They need some reparenting yourself. You both could probably do the same to, you know, help build yourself back up. Um, they may even need some spiritual maturity going on. Okay. Wow. the life purpose over here though it's kind of crazy though because I just want to say with the calling your calling your soulmate and card guys for your person it's I just want to let you know right now that more than likely their soul is calling out another soulmate for them and the, what they're really saying is that this means so much to them that they would not take the next soul contract they need a lot of healing because, come on guys, even from your point of view, if this was on your side, you know you would want that. Call in the soulmate. Make it right. We're humans. Do what it needs to be. And they're pretty much saying, I'm going to go against whatever my life purpose is. I'm going to go against it. Because if this soul contract is over between the two of us, I don't give a damn if my soul calls in a soulmate or not. I'm not taking it. But that's not really good though, right? Because this is showing the distorted, yeah, they're showing the distortedness to the situation that they're holding on so tight and so obsessively that they won't be able to move on with life the way that life is supposed to be with them, for them, by trying to hold on to something that you're trying to, is this why you haven't separated? Is this because of this? This piece that's here that you know that they're, you know, holding on, that they're trying to resolve the issues. Do you know, right, that they're not going, it look, it literally says they're not going to allow a soulmate to come in. They won't be able to do that until they have forgiveness within themselves. It's, it's very, actually very, it's actually very disturbing in a lot of ways as a tarot reader, because I have to see it from both people's point of views. Right. It doesn't matter what the situation was between two people. It's very sad to think that, you know, that I could hold on so tight that I would allow not to have another soulmate come in. <clears throat> Especially when you're over here going, I deserve love. Where's my damn soulmate? <laughs> Where's my, you know, if that was my card, I'd be like, let's go. Let me release so that I can move on with my life. And they're saying, no. But I think because you know the person very well, maybe this is why you're holding on, because you know they have not healed. They're having a hard time healing. They're having a hard time letting go. They're having a hard time focusing on the things that they need to do. I think, though, in the end, the codependency, yes, the codependency is just going to, you're just going to have to do what you need to do to move on, my friends, and let them do it. And it could be because of children or because they act like a child. They're very immature Right when it comes to these things, like I said before, e emotional immaturity. But because of the codependencies and stuff, though, you guys have to move on, though, too. Because more than likely, you're going to have a soulmate that comes in, too. I mean, come on, guys. This is life. We have a thousand soulmates that come in and out of our lives all the time. Right? Look at that. For some of you, you have a Leo, Aries, and a Sagittarius that you, you need to move on to. Once you let this go, you have a new life to go to. You, you know, you need to grow and heal and be the person you need to be. You know, one soul, yes, one soul contract ends, another one starts. Absolutely. 
and it looks like yours is going to start with some kind of fire sign. And I've got tons of fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and a Scorpio. Right? Or releasing a Scorpio. But it, to me, that does. It looks like you, you need to rest, relax, and move on because you will also make way and align yourself for the next soul contract. Of course, to get your Ten of Cups. Of course, that's the way life works. It's a huge cycle of this is how this works and how that goes. I just think it's very sad that they're not going to try to move on. They're going to put up so many barriers and so many walls and try to fight, fight, fight for something that's for codependency and not happiness, true happiness, because that's not going to be inner happiness. That's going to be dissatisfaction, indulgence, codependency. They need to find that strength within themselves so they can get back out there. I mean, that's all we all want to do. Right? We all want to get out there. Do what we need to do. Have the opportunities. Okay, my friends. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.